Hello everyone. I welcome you to my channel. First of all, a very happy new year. Today I'll be showing you how to install code blocks on your Windows operating system. So, let's begin. Now to install code blocks, you need to first simply go to your favorite browser and in the address bar just simply type code blocks download. Then enter and then you'll be seeing this www.codeblocks.org is basically our first search result. So just you know, simply click on downloads code blocks and it will going to redirect you to this official site of code blocks and here you can see that we have these downloads. So under downloads you can see that there is this download the binary releases. So just you know simply click on that and what it will do is it will going to land you to this page. So here if you just simply scroll down under binary release it is available for windows linux and mac OS. since we are going to install it for windows so what i am going to do is i am going to scroll down and here under microsoft windows you can see that we have so many files right but from here you need to download this code blocks 20.3 min gw setup this is very important guys if you just simply download this you know simple code blocks ide and do not download any compiler then you won't be able to run any c or c plus plus program right so for that you need to download code blocks along with a compiler so see we have this mean gw setup with code blocks as well here right so for that i'm going to choose this fourth one and it corresponding link is this one right so i'm going to choose this force hub you can also choose for a source force.net totally depend upon you i'm going to choose force hub so i'm going to just simply click on that and what it will do is it will going to redirect you to this force hub page and it will and it will going to start downloading our code blocks so since i have already downloaded it i just simply cancel it and if i just simply minimize my browser and if i just simply go to my download directory you can see code blocks 20 0.03 has rightly downloaded over here and it has also mean gw compiler right so just simply double click on it to start installing our code blocks and then just simply click on yes to provide our administrative privileges and you can see that our code blocks 20.03 has rightly opened over here so let us first minimize our download directory and welcome to code blocks setup just simply click on next and this is our license agreement so just simply click on i agree and these are the files that they're going to be installed so keep this default then just simply click on next and this is going to be our installation destination that is the c program files code blocks if you want to change it you can always do that by just simply clicking on this browse button and you can always do that but i'm going to keep this default then just simply click on install and you can see that our code blocks has started installing and also our desktop shortcut of our code blocks is also created over here so see it has rightly started so this will take a couple of minutes so what i'll be doing is i'll be coming back right after installing our code blocks so we'll come back and now you can clearly see that our code blocks has rightly installed and it is currently asking do you want to run code blocks now so I'm going to just simply click on yes to you know so that we can start our code blocks now and see our code blocks has rightly opened over here our code blocks 20.03 is currently launching and see it has rightly launched over here and this is basically the interface of our code blocks so here we can see that we have this file so if you want to create a new project so that is what I'm going to show you now I'm going to write a simple hello world program and I'll also show you how to compile and how to run them. So for that you need to just simply go to file then new uh, and then you need to just simply click on this empty file and you can see a new untitled file is rightly opened over here. So here this is your writing area so you can write a simple hello world program I'm going to just simply type a simple hello world C program so has include stdio.h then our int main so I'm going to create our main method right and uh, I'm going to inside 
our main method here i'm going to print if hello world right hello world that's it basically and then just simply end with semicolon and then we need to return zero right so since we have created an int main method so we need to return something so we are returning zero and this is our printf hello world but we need to save it so for that just simply again go to file then just simply click on this save file as and it will going to open this window so let's create a new folder naming it as a c dash programs right then just simply go inside that folder and inside our c programs folder i'm going to save this as program.c since it is a c program so i'm going to save it as a .c if you are writing any c++ then you need to save it as a .cpp right so that is very important and then just you know simply click on save and what it will do is it will going to save our program and see how colorful it is right so now after you know writing just simple this this much code if you just simply click on this run button uh, what it will do is it will going to show you that it seems that this file has not been built yet so it is very important to build so just simply click on yes and what it will do is it will going to start building and after building it will going to open our console and in our console you can see our hello world has rightly shown right so seeing this hello world has rightly shown in our console right so in this we can easily install the latest version of code blocks on a windows operating system and you can easily write any c or c plus program and you can easily run them only thing is you need to install this code blocks which has min gw compiler so that is the thing so if you install you know just ide you will get just interface but you will not get compiler and your program not going to be run so download min gw compiler with code blocks right so that's basically all about this video thank you very much for watching this video and god bless you all